joining me today. Um, I, uh, I'd like to kind of get together with you a little bit. The last video I did was um, removed because uh, I'm not really sure how to articulate it, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But what I would like to say is that um, I had had a dream, and I was talking about the dream I had, and I don't know what went wrong, but I wanted to kind of let you know that I'm still with you. I'm still uploading videos. I just need to be careful about what I say. Um, they do have an algorithm or some kind of bot police. They also have uh, a case against Donald Trump, a, a federal case, uh, and they're trying to revive it. There was a Supreme Court case, and I now know why Harris is laughing all the time uh, and joking around because she's got some tricks up her sleeve to tamp down Trump. One of them is this new indictment. Hang on a minute. I can probably show it to you. Um, here it is. Okay. Sorry about this. I, I'm actually doing research and then taking a break. This is uh, a new indictment to Donald Trump. And um, I think this is the right one. They, they took the same indictment that they had that they lost in the Supreme Court and they want to revive it and have it heard again. So they're bringing it back. So uh, basically, you could probably, it's all over the news, you could probably see it. I, I, I didn't know about it until um, today when I, I put CNN and on for a minute now I don't have a lot of time to watch TV and my health isn't the best so I want to just kind of go over some ideas with you that maybe you could heed I really feel as though whatever happens the outcome of these cases the outcome of uh, the uh, the election in the United States is going to make a profound effect on the rest of the world. And the reason I, I say this is because the United States of America is an anchor for the entire globe, the entire world. We are, are a, a, a commerce... I'm not going to... I'm just saying that we're all intertwined now. Humanity's intertwined. There was an agreement after World War II. It has to do with international courts. It has to do with the United Nations. It has, United Nations is supposed to be a peacekeeping uh, place. The World Health Organization is supposed to be focused on health. Uh, we have all these different entanglements. But unfortunately, um, what happens is we have uh, these different entanglements, and this is what I was hearing today was a song, and it was an earworm, and I googled what, what it could be, and I found the video, so I'm going to put the video below. And I didn't even know who sang it, because it's a really old song, and it would come on the radio every once in a while. It doesn't come on, on the radio that much anymore. But I listened to it on YouTube, and it has a cute little video, so I thought I'd share that with you. Now, it's called Yellow Taxi. Um, so with all that said, they're trying to, uh, a lot of these, um, a lot of these people are trying to take the right to choose a way through any means they can. And I'm afraid that if they're going to take a former president to court for his words, that it's going to be a slippery slope 
for our First Amendment rights. I personally have made comments about the outcome, uh, that I was suspicious they weren't properly counting numbers in 2016. Would I get arrested for what I said? Or be put on some kind of list? I mean, I really think this is overreach, but I haven't really looked at the entire uh, thing, but this is not a popularity contest, okay? This is taking away somebody's rights because you don't like them personally. You don't like the fact that you think that they're abrasive and rude. You don't like that they've gotten away with being a male chauvinist uh, or something like that. I, I could call names. And I will tell you, um, I've heard some pretty, pretty rude names in the past. And I don't want to get started on things like uh, the uh, men's rights groups and things like that. But I could go on about that, but I'm not going to. So what do, I, what do I mean by the good old boy network? Well, there has never been a female president and I believe it's partly due to uh, the way the, the country is. And I believe it's due to um, chauvinistic attitudes, paternalism, and some social problems. Because women can lead just as well as men. With all that said, um, I think we need to stick with the issues that are important to us and put our differences aside. And that's maybe why this song was coming to my head about the yellow taxi. It's a really old kind of upbeat, uh, it's about how, it's kind of, it's about, you know, different things. So I'm gonna put the link below and I'm gonna say to you that this is a Labor Day weekend. The next couple of months are going to be really kind of compressed in terms of different things happening. And that the idea of what's going to occur is going to affect the economy and the stock markets. And it's going to reverberate around the world. Because you have different interest groups promoting different agendas. And so if you, let's say Trump got in office, uh, well, they're going to try to make sure he doesn't get in office. They're going to do everything in their power, including reviving an old case that already was decided by the United States Supreme Court. And he was found not guilty. Now, they they want to change the terminology so they took the same template and they added it to see if it could now be revived and what timing they have i really am very highly concerned about first amendment rights and i also have concerns about weaponizing different forms of media to control the narrative. I think we need to have equal time in our search engines at what we see coming up and when we run a search and balanced articles, not just negative articles about one party or the other. How is somebody going to make informed decisions and be American and have a free country if they're working in tandem to create the illusion of freedom, but they're taking away your choices. That's not American. That's not freedom. So uh, I do uh, know that when this thing happened and uh, somebody was in denial, like the river of Egypt, uh, they were experiencing a I didn't see this coming, it can't be, it can't be, no it can't be, type of moment. Kind of like the people after Hillary Clinton. They were like, I can't believe this. You know? 
And we have all these different choices on what we're going to do with our lives, right? But when you're experiencing a loss, a person can actually wind up being almost delusional. They can go into shock because they were planning on something and it, it happened. They didn't see it coming. And there that's a natural phenomenon. And when you work through this process, denial, anger, acceptance, expression, bargaining, right? This is uh, thanks to Dr. Kubler-Ross. She did a great job kind of articulating and laying out a typical pattern. Now, people have atypical patterns that aren't typical. And they fall into these categories. So with all that said, I, I really want to tell you thank you very much. And I hope and pray every day. Uh, I'm really grateful for each and every one of you. And I want you to know that it's going to be a charged up couple of months. And that there might be some outcomes that we don't expect, right? So what can I tell you? Um, how can we find the answer? Can we look in a, a crystal ball? Can we use science? Can we climb up Jacob, Jacob's ladder and get to the pro, to the heavens? Can we have a dream? Uh, can we rename ourselves? Can we change uh, things up? What can we do, right? So... I did have a revelation that I went over in that other video um, that the ancients had left, left us about the Melchizedek priesthood and about Zion. And um, it's in the other video, but unfortunately I cannot keep the video up. So I will come back on here maybe one time and articulate it in a way that's acceptable and in a manner that's acceptable. So for now, I want to thank each and every one of you, and I want to say that we really need to be careful, okay? Because these times are going to be difficult to navigate for the world, and what happens over the next few uh, weeks, months, is going to determine whether we're on course properly or whether we're on course uh, in, in a manner that's going to set us back. I hope that we can set ourselves forward rather than back. And one of the ways we can do that is by trying to be grounded and centered. But also this idea about um, having a meeting of the minds. Um, tapping into spirit. Thinking about what we have in common with one another using these ideas that are like sacred triangulation you know they talk about the holy trinity um there is something in the energy of two or more gathered together and there are answers and we can get to them um so Let's try to have a meeting of the minds and agree to disagree on certain things. I think First Amendment rights to speech are important. I think equal time and not steering the election, but rather having uh, ran, maybe evenly coded search, uh, fair and balanced um scales of justice and scales of literature available in the search uh, and not suppressing knowledge, science, information, qualitative content, but having it in a way that's not going to spoil things. So I like the fact that some people are master debaters. They can eloquently agree to disagree. They're master negotiators. And um, I can see now, I don't know if Trump was served with his indictment. I don't know what this indictment, if they, they even set a date, if they have a hearing. 
Uh, I don't know all the particulars about it. I just know they started rambling on about this on on the um, the uh, CNN. But I got to get running, and I want to thank each and every one of you. And I hope you have a great Labor Day. Maybe I can get back on here again. I don't know. Uh, take care, and I will put the link to the video below. And I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.